Hey guys, welcome to ChatGPT Reader and Transcriber, a free AI text to speech and speech to text extension. Uh, it is a ChatGPT extension, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of how the extension works. So, uh, when you install the extension, you're going to see this icon here, uh, which, if you click on it, will actually take you to the ChatGPT website. Once you're there, it'll open up this extension overlay, which allows you to then use the extension's features. So, uh, we start off on the text-to-speech, but you can toggle to then the speech-to-text as well. Let's walk through text-to-speech first, and then we'll move over to the speech-to-text. So, once you're on text-to-speech, uh, you can, you'll can you notice you have the ability to choose from a variety of voices. Uh, male, female, categorized, there's also a, as well as a short descriptions to help you choose which voice that you want. Uh, also, the audio format. MP3 is default. Uh, you also have obviously the ability to choose or once you have chosen a voice to then listen to a sample voice in this case. Hi, glad to meet you. I think we're going to do great work to That's a sample voice. And then from there, it's a uh, pretty basic stuff. You can either type or paste text or you can upload a, a file that has text and then GPT reader will speak it. Uh, let's do something really simple here. This is a test of how you can expect GPT reader to sound for you. Now when you submit, you either have the listening option or the downloading option. Let's go through the listening option first. It's going to go through a short loading period and then it'll... This is a test of how you can expect GPT Reader to sound for you. Right, so this is, as you can see here, an audio player. I go with all of the basic uh, operations that you can expect uh, out of an audio player. And then also the, now the text that you uploaded as well as uh, the ability to download the text in the view as well, in this view as well. Uh, that's the listening feature in a nutshell. Uh, you also have the ability to go light mode or dark mode, depending on your preferences. Uh, let's continue on now to the downloading view here. Now, similarly, I'm gonna do the same text, but this time I'm going to choose the download feature. Submit, download. Okay, now this is the downloading view. It tells you exactly the amount of text that has been processed. In this case, it was a pretty uh, short amount of text, so it downloaded pretty quickly, and it downloaded in MP3 because that is the audio format that we chose. So that is GPT Reader. Now let's move over to the speech to text version of this extension. So, uh, as I mentioned before, you simply just have to click on the toggle and it'll take you that way. A speech to text you either have the ability to drop in a audio file and it'll transcribe it live well not, not live it'll tra it'll transcribe it for you uh, chunk by chunk and then also have the ability to speak and then while you're speaking it'll transcribe for you let's walk through each as we did for GPT transcriber this is a test of how you can expect this extension to work for you cool so this is as you saw transcribed it as I spoke uh, you, then you can take this transcription and you can either download it as a text or as a PDF simply by choosing the format and then clicking on the download button here. So that is live transcription and then last but not least we have the ability to transcribe your audio files. In this case this is a 5 second audio file. This is what we just downloaded from uh, GPT Reader. Well, really not from GPT Reader but uh, again it is still short. Uh, similarly, uh, this is similar to the download view in GPT Reader, but now it's obviously outputting text as opposed to speech like it was for GPT Reader. Now, again, you have the ability to choose the format and then click on download. But yeah, that is ChatGPT Reader and Transcriber in a nutshell. Uh, 